Hey campers, welcome to the Poppy Pierce Summer Camp. My name is Megan and I'll be your camp counselor. Today I'll be giving you a tour around camp so you're more familiar with your surroundings. You should have already received your itinerary, highlighted features pamphlet, and a map. If you haven't, you can find them in the description. And with that, let's begin. Let's begin by pulling up the map, just in case you did not receive one. Here's an updated summer look of the island. We have some different residents from before. We still have Muffy, our Uchi starter that's been here since day one. Poppy, Snake, Hornsby, Goldie, Molly, Blue Bear, Poppy, Timbra, and Grizzly, who is our summer's ranger, our forest ranger. So he'll be, um, you'll be seeing him a lot too. Okay. To the right, we have a barn that I built with my own two hands. And down below that, we have a wildflower patch. So if you'd like to pluck some flowers and press them in your book for some Poppy Pier memories, you're more than welcome to. Also enjoy a cup of tea and um, omelets, maybe? We're going to go with omelets. We also have a little spot to rest after you've been swimming all day. Kick off your shoes. Get into a nice soaking hot tub. We've got a cornfield. I mean... If you have a barn, I feel like you you have to have a cornfield, right? This leads up to the counselor's cabin, and you're more than welcome to come in at all hours, anytime. My door is always open. I've been growing some watermelon. Blueberries are no longer in season, unfortunately, and the cabbages have been thriving. Let me tell you. Over here we have the apple orchard, perfect for a midday snack. Can you see my whole world is just focused on food? <laughs> All right, wanna make sure you stay on the trail. Oh my God, <laughs> what the fuck? When I said that uh, you'd be seeing Chris Lee. <laughs> didn't know he'd be running for his life, running to see a butterfly. Ugh, you are so precious. And your glasses? Where did you get those? Ugh, I gotta go. Okay. Well, Grizzly is now our tour guide. He showed you how to get out of the forest. Um, <laughs> right next to the nooks is our mercantile mail service. And this is where you'll be picking up your camp uniform and your camping gear. This is the path to the museum, and to the left we have a little arts and crafts area put on by Blathers, so if you want to make a friendship bracelet to send home to your best friend, you can. And also, um, this is where you can learn about art dupes. Again, this is put on by Blathers, okay, it's not me. This is Poppy Pierce Museum. If you have some time, you can always go in there and explore, but I'm sure you'll have other things to do. There's a lot to see here on Poppy Pier. One being the forest band. We've got a little jamboree down here. This bridge takes you to the abandoned lighthouse. Good place to play some guitar, ukulele. We also have a little game of chess over here. Chess and bees, bees playing chess. Magical. If you hop over here, we have a mushroom tea party going on. Again, I encourage you to make sure that you're staying on the trails, otherwise you end up at the witch's O. 
Uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> Back through here, we have some stepping stones that lead to the witch's hut. And it doesn't look like she's home right now, which is good. We better get out of here before she comes back though. Here we have the woodsman's, I don't know what you'd call this. This is where the woodsman cuts wood. We also have an abandoned beach that's not so abandoned because where did this tea kettle come from? Even though this beach is abandoned, it does make for some good cliff diving. So once you're done cliff diving, I'm sure you've worked up quite the appetite. I see we have a costume change. Hi, how's it going? Thanks, Grizzly. Um, we have a bakery. You can indulge in a bread basket or some artisan bread loaves here. And right above the bakery is our wheat field. Everything's local, homegrown. We also have a bee apiary. A bee ap this is our bee apiary. Say that five times fast. I can't. <laughs> Down here is uh, flower storage for now. And also the lumber yard for the sawmill. Okay, I'm going to show you the start of the trail. We cross this bridge first. And I suggest that you fill up your canteens here because it's a long trek to the campsite. So we walk this bridge and as you can see, we have the ranger station to the right. You might wanna Sign in here, just let them know that you're camping, you need to get a permit. And then over here, uh, if you wanna fill out a little journal about your trip as you leave, please do so, we'd love to see it. Okay, this is the start of our Redwood Forest trail hike. And this is also our first camping spot. This is camp number one the rustic campsite for those of you that want to brave the wilderness aka there are no toilets no running water um attached to this is also a little reading area back on the trail takes us to our next campsite the family campsite We've got a big dining table over here camp sleeping bag make some s'mores also a really great fishing spot. If you want to know all the great fishing holes, Grizzly knows them. He's a very good resource. Down here is the communal kitchen, as well as some um, ring toss games, play a little tambourine around the fire. Back here is campsite number four, which is for our solo campers but you do still have the luxury of um, being the only campsite with a toilet, so good on you. Up top is our VIP suite, very nice. Our biggest campsite amenity comes with a pond. That's a big fish for a pond. Um, a hammock, kick your shoes off, enjoy the breeze. Again, s'mores. This is our bonfire down here for the campers and don't worry a ladder and pole vault will be available for you to enjoy the most out of poppy pier and again we have red's trading post there we go uh trading post is a loose term he's never here so there's really <laughs> all right time to trek back Make sure you clean up, pack in and pack out. This is a crumb-free facility. We're gonna take a shortcut past the ranger station. 
we end up at the sawmill. Well, the bridge to the sawmill. If you need to do some laundry over here. All right, back down here, we have Able Sisters, a cafe. I'll go ahead and take you into the neighborhood now. Down here we have a little reading area. Again, smoking some weenies. Close that. Don't want no flies on our food. This is the library. And of course, Molly has her own little duck pond that Hornsby is fishing in. And a little fishing spot here. Okay. Hornsby's house, Poppy's house. Goldie gets the ground entrance with her picnic shared with Grizzly. So if you need to find Grizzly, here he is, his little cabin. Don't mind the honeycomb. I mean, he is a bear after all. Here's Snake. This is Timbra. Back here is Poppy's house. Again, a little seating area with a cooler, more fishing spots. We like to fish here, okay? We're called Poppy Pier for a reason. Little mushroom garden. Here's where Blue Bear lives. And uh, some forest, forest chess. Okay, through here, we have a plethora of things to look at. This is the artichoke farm. They're in season right now, so if you'd like to pick some up, we have baskets all around. You can wash them off before you take them home, cook them up. Uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta sleep and eat watermelon at the same time. What a life. Back here is the lavender field. Um, you've noticed we've had to put brick in between the pathways because rocks and fossils would not stop making this their breeding ground. So that's how we've stopped that. We'll come back around so I can show you the entrance to the wharf. So if you are in the mood for some local seafood, sitting by the waves, then this is your spot, this is your jam. Really fast, I'm gonna get out my ladder and show you up here. Starting this way. So if you were to continue left from filling up your water bottle, this is like a little mountaintop lookout center, lookout point. the artichokes and blue bear has their own little picnic over here and then even more fitting an all blue I didn't even realize I had done that <laughs> a little blue dining area okay you see I told you he's everywhere I'm seeing a lot of you buddy Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Grizzly's always got the best tips. Somebody on my Instagram, if you didn't know, Grizzly took over Poppy Pear's Instagram, the story highlights, and somebody asked him what his favorite snack was, and he said, fish jerky for protein? I don't know, man. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you back over here to the entrance of Poppy Pear. Whoa. I mean, the namesake of Poppy Pear. It's definitely gotten some upgrades. We have a little picnic area. Another picnic area. <laughs> Eating some bread. And um, just relax on some chairs. All right, the tour is almost over. If we come back down here below the cafe, we have a little picnic and painting area. Picnic. 
painting. Down here we have a candle making station. If you want to make some candles while you're here at camp, take one home. We also have a bohemian brunch set up. And lastly, we have our strawberry field. So this is a pick your own strawberry field. We encourage you to take as many basketfuls home as you can carry, as many as Luna will let you have on the bus home. Okay, and that about concludes our tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing what Poppy Pier looks like in the summer, and we can't wait to see you here. Um, to get here, just type in the dream address. Oh, geez. <laughs> um, before I was so rudely interrupted by a mosquito, you can now come stay at Poppy Pier Summer Camp. We're super excited to have you here. Um, I'm going to list it on the screen right now. And yeah, I can't wait to see you guys.